So the final thing we need to do here is combine all of these separate pieces into one final file. Because in my folder, I've got the MP4, which is the video, the MP3, which is the audio, and the work in progress, WLMP. So to combine all of this into one, pretty easy right here. Save movie. I can do save movie, and I have these options. Save it to be ready to put onto a DVD. Save it to be emailed. Save it for Androids or iPhones. The only one you need to care about is just that very first one, recommended settings. That one works really well. It picks the right settings, the right quality, and everything. It tells you it's going to go in the right settings and format and all of that stuff. The, de the default will work just fine. So I'm clicking Save Movie, and I click Recommended for this project. It says, where would you like to save this file? It's about to create a brand new file, socialmediatip.mp4. It's going to make the final mp4 version, the final video file, which I want to save in the folder of my video project. So I want to combine everything. That's why we've got this video folder, this video project folder. I have the original file, I have the working file, I have the sound file, I have text or whatever I'm doing to combine it, and then my final version goes in there too. So in my video project, I can change the name if I want, or it's the same name as the MLP file. It's going to save it as MP4, MP4, okay great, don't need to make any changes, I'll click Save. Then it's going to, again, take a little bit of time to combine all of this, and this is another example why, why this takes so long. This is a very short 46 seconds, and it's usually going to take a, approximately the same amount of time as the length of your video. If I make a 10 minute long video, it may take up 10 more minutes just to combine it all. The better your computer is, the more modern, the more RAM, the better CPU, the better your computer is, the faster this happens. So it may not be that you've got a 10 minute video and it'll take 10 minutes. It may only take 6, but it usually won't take like 5 seconds these things take a while to combine and in a 46 long video I didn't count but it took like 30 seconds 40 seconds or something I can close that and now what I have here is in my project folder I have the original unedited video still I have my sound file I have my working progress file project and I have the final video the original one was 1 minute 24 seconds, this final one is 46 seconds, the original one was 80, uh, 80 megabytes, 81 megabytes of space, this final one is 12. So video always takes much more space than text, or graphics, or audio. You know, one picture may be 1 megabyte, just to round it off. One video of less than a minute is 12 megabytes. It's 12 times larger. And through various factors, it's a lot of space. Here's my final video. I can play it. Hello, and welcome to the weekly Web Design Minute. I'm Victor Campos. This is the series where I give you a great web design tip in about a minute. This week, we're talking about Twitter and the importance of social media. Remember, you want to claim your name on various social media platforms as soon as you can so that no one else takes that name. And Twitter is the perfect social network with over 330 million people. So make sure you get your name on Twitter.com as soon as you can. This is Victor for the weekly social media moment. And then it ends. Yeah. Thanks. You save all that to the folder? So. Yeah. So obviously there could still be a lot of changes I could make. Maybe I, maybe I want to fade out at the end and all of that. But this is uh, the tip of the iceberg. And in the amount of time that we have of a class, we're not going to become an expert. And that's fine. When we come back for part two of this lecture, which will be part three of the class, we will continue to work a little bit more in the video editing, the video creation, and then of course creating YouTube account, uploading it, finding out how to go viral on YouTube and all of that. I'll share examples of our work, advice, and all of that. General questions at this point?
Yes. I'm curious with what I've seen. Um, as I said earlier, like I was sharing with you that I, my kids know more about YouTube than I do ten times over. But there, are, my daughter is ten. She is totally into slime, and there's this one. Which I'm amazed by this girl. She's 24 or 21, some young age, and she's in LA. She started making these high-end slime videos, and basically made a couple million dollars. Yeah. And now the mom calls her house the slime house because she bought it in LA <laughs> cash. Does how does this develop? I mean, do these young entrepreneurs just start doing videos? They start getting advertising, get popular, and then they just become more elaborate? Or well, that's a discussion we'll have deeper definitely during the lectures. Uh, and unfortunately, sometimes it is a lot of hard work or a lot of dumb luck. And it is that people go viral and get famous and all of that for something dumb. And you're like, why, why are they so famous about that? And sometimes it's people putting in a lot of effort and doing like a whole elaborate production. And that's how that works for them. And it could be that they make money off of endorsements. Or we can also see that YouTube actually can pay you. YouTube can pay you to, uh, to put your videos on their site. Now, we'll go to the whole details about how to do that and the pros and cons. But yeah, you can you can be a, a YouTube entrepreneur and, and make money off of YouTube. And are they getting more um, is YouTube getting stricter with their laws or with what it can be posted? Because that's the other thing. Having children, there is a big thing on the YouTube channel for kids. And certain things are being yeah. It's the same sort of uh, idea that we've had on other networks. That unfortunately, there's such an open-ended utopia of social media has a dark side. And so yes, uh, YouTube has tried to deal with. Uh, the you know the pro proliferation of like violent videos and videos that target kids and just spam videos and all of that and it's very hard because there's such an open platform just like every other thing so they're all these social networks that are even though they're 10 years old they're still trying to barely figure out how do we keep people safe how do we do things that are good that are not detrimental without going against free speech limitations and such and it's kind of the wild west at the moment but yes they are trying to clamp down on bad stuff however you define bad and uh, we'll talk about uh, how to navigate that when we get to that lecture yeah i've heard marketers complain that somebody will start changing their algorithm and your whole business disappears in a day yeah because we're playing in their playground their playground is uh, doing something a certain way and if we don't follow their rules of the playground they'll kick us out of the playground so yeah these websites they do have an algorithm or they do have a way of doing things and if you run afoul of their algorithm because they changed it you're gonna suffer so that I try to cover those things as we go through these various classes but it's always something that we have to think about so uh, for the moment, we're going to wrap up and uh, enjoy your spring break. Maybe record some video. Uh, think about using the software. When we come back, we'll get uh, more advanced. Thank you for coming. Thank you.